We're again in here at the New Life Scientific Tech Shop, and today again we have a model ICR 8000 made by Aurora. This is an atomic absorption spectrometer, um, also known as a flame spectrometer, and uh, we've got it all set up. Um, this one, however, does have a few options on it, uh, which we're going to cover here, but it's also enclosed in a flow sciences fume hood so that you can uh, exhaust the fumes from the flames uh, much easier. But uh, we're going to move up on it and take a look at this unit. Um, as you can see, we did take the front off of the flame so that we can video this and you can see how well the flame works. Um, a few things we did to the machine itself. Um, we, we cleaned the flame head, of course, and, and then we replaced the float sensor switch in the bottom of the, of the trap because it wasn't detecting that there was a fluid in the trap. Um, so we did that. Um, we also put a brand new nebulizer in, and along with the old nebulizer, too, that uh, was in it when we got this unit. Um, so you'll have two nebulizers. I'm not sure how well the old one works. Um, this is a $900 option, um, consumable from Aurora. Um, and then also on this unit, um, we've noticed that the stepper motor on uh, some of the mirrors in the back, uh, one stepper motor anyways, that uh, had some noises coming from it. So we are replacing that also. Um, but we do have this unit set up, ready to go. Um, the other option I was mentioning earlier is the Aurora plate stacker here. Um, you can see the serial number of it here. Um, what it does is uh, it takes plates off the stacks, obviously, which we don't have, as you can see. Um, when we got the unit in, it was missing the actual stacks. Um, but the, the, the robotic arm itself does feed uh, flawlessly into um, the reader here, and uh, it works just fine. Um, we're going to move over to the software. It comes with computer and software over here. Um, as you can see on the first CD here, as the ion channel reader 8000 with the stacker so this is the software that will control the stacker which we've already pre-installed in a computer with uh, um, that does come with the unit here and we're going to move up here again on the screen and the first tab here what we're on is we're on the lamps tab um, this gives you the option of picking which lamp that you want to run test depending on what uh, metals or substance that you want to run um, we have a few actually lamps in the unit i'm going to swing over here you can see in the back down there a little hard to see. I think we got three or four lamps installed. There are actually quite a few lamps that we're giving with this one. Um, but it's simple. Just pick the lamp um, that you're wanting to use and then uh, you can set the um, wavelength and the peak currents here. And then up, also up on the corner here it gives you a continual reading of your energy level which is about 75 percent which is what you want because you need in between 70 and 80 percent when you're running some tests. But then over on the next tabs, we have the spectrometer, and uh, this is where you can actually set the voltage um, right here, and that helps balance out to get you up to your 75%, um, which is all in the manual that's uh, included with this unit. Um, just takes a little bit of playing with, and uh, you can get, up, get it up and running like we did without any problem. Um, and then back over to the uh, automizer, on this tab here, we have the actual flame settings that you can set, which you can see the, um, we're using uh, the gas um, on the top there, the airplane setting at 1.5. And then uh, the bottom, the ignition setting is set to two, which is usually about what is required to set it. Um, we're, we're running air um, on the automizer, so we've got that setting there. And uh, then you can see the ignite button, and it's just simple as um, hitting the ignite button. But we're going to move over to another window here to actually look at the, some of the readings here, um, which we'll come back to in a little bit, too, once we light it up. But you can see right here is a program that we've built for it. Um, we're not really running any technically any samples other than just some water and um, so the readings are going to basically probably be zero because we don't have any of the um, any of the particles in that the, the bulb is set to so but you can at least see that it does some of the readings um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, fire this thing up we'll go back to the um, automizer window we're going to hit the ignite button as soon as we hit the button you can hear the flames kick up um, I'm going to move over so let's uh, ignite it and I'm moving over so you can see it actually light. What it does is it gets the uh, gas pressure here. And you can see it ignites the flame. And then it goes down to a really nice, beautiful, straight flame. And that's mostly due because we did clean the burner. So we have a really nice, straight um, flame across there. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes. You're actually supposed to burn it um, for a few minutes first before you actually run any test. So once it, uh, once it kind of balances the flame, and you can see right now it's balanced pretty well. You get that balanced really good, and then make your adjustments. 
so that the, uh, the sight glass shoots the best absorbent values possible by adjusting the uh, up and down screws right here. And these are manual. Um, I believe Aurora does offer a, an automatic one, but this is definitely the manual setting one. Which once you have it set, uh, you can just always put it back to that setting. Um, just make some markings where it belongs. But we're going to go ahead and uh, show you on the plate stacker. Um, if if the stacks were in there, it would actually pull the plate from it, move it. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and move it. We got it set up to move the plate out so it can actually pull readings. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to move here, and I'll show you what we're doing. We're just hitting the plate stacker move button, and what it does is it just moves the plate over. You heard it. There it is. It moved it out from the plate uh, stacker and into the, the sample chamber. So then we're going to go ahead and hit the button to run the sample over here, and there it is. And to save it. And you can see that the uh, first thing it's going to do is um, flush the needle. It's going to calibrate it. You can see it did inject some uh, water in, which would push where it and just burning it off. And over on the screen, what it's doing is just simply calibrating. Oh, we just missed it, but it went off there. It does calibrate it first before our batch run. But now you can see it here. It's, uh, you can see the flame. We just injected some in there. Now the flame burns off the samples, and that's exactly what it's supposed to do. And it's going back over, and it's just working its way on the well plate. Coming over, injecting the sample, and burns it up nice. Nice flame there. And then brings the reading over onto the screen where we can look over here again. We do have some particles, uh, very little, but as we move down, it'll probably start giving us a zero reading. Um, but you can see up here, we're still running at 72%, so that's great. But this thing will just continually run through all the samples. Um, seems to work great. Um, we have a really, uh, you see a uh, beautiful flame there. So it's nebulizing really nice. Um, and that's, like I said, that's why we have a new nebulizer in there, so it's just really accurate readings. But, like I said, this uh, this unit doesn't have the plate stack stackers that go on the, on the unit, but it pretty much turnkey other than that. Um, really nice flow science of fume hood. Um, you can see here, uh, flow science is there. It's got an access door on the front, so if you wanted to actually um, run your microplates in the front window, you could, um, which we have blocked off there. But uh, we have it running in the side, which is more convenient, we feel. Um, but uh, up on top here, you can see where you would actually put your um, exhaust um, fans up here to suck out the fumes. Um, right now, we just got them going in the room because we're not running this very long. But, and then also, that, um, we're actually including the base down here, too, that, uh, um, that this unit was on when we received it. Uh, we clean everything very thoroughly, went through, make sure everything's working properly. We feel this is a turnkey unit, and we feel like this would as many, many years of good use to it. But I thank you for listening to this video. Again, this is New Life Scientific. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Thank you.